The Legend of Theodore Roosevelt, a man of contradictions, a sickly child turned rugged outdoorsman, a scholar who charged into battle. Theodore Roosevelt was a force of nature, a whirlwind of energy and ambition who redefined what it meant to be an American leader. Born into privilege, Roosevelt could have easily settled into a life of comfort and ease, but he chose a different path, one marked by adventure, service, and an unyielding belief in the power of action. From the battlefields of Cuba to the halls of the White House, Roosevelt's life was a testament to his indomitable spirit. He remains an icon, a symbol of American strength and resolve, his legacy etched into the fabric of the nation he loved. Theodore Roosevelt's childhood was a study in contrasts. Born in 1858, he was a frail and asthmatic child, confined indoors while yearning for adventure. His father, a man of deep compassion, instilled in him a strong sense of social responsibility. Young Theodore, determined to overcome his physical limitations, embarked on a rigorous regimen of physical exercise. He boxed, he hiked, he rode horses, transforming himself into a picture of vigor and vitality. His intellectual curiosity was equally insatiable. He devoured books, immersing himself in history, biology, and philosophy. This blend of physical and intellectual prowess would define his leadership style, a potent mix of action and intellect. The Spanish-American War provided the perfect stage for Roosevelt's audacious spirit. Resigning from his post as Assistant Secretary of the Navy, he formed the Rough Riders, a volunteer cavalry regiment composed of cowboys, miners, and Ivy League athletes. Landing in Cuba, Roosevelt and his Rough Riders faced a grueling campaign against Spanish forces. The charge up Kettle Hill, a pivotal moment in the Battle of San Juan Hill, became legendary. Roosevelt, a fearless figure on horseback, rallied his men with a mix of charisma and courage, his actions earning him the Congressional Medal of Honor. The war hero returned home a national celebrity, his name synonymous with bravery and patriotism. Thrust into the vice presidency under William McKinley, Roosevelt found himself unexpectedly elevated to the highest office after McKinley's assassination in 1901. At 42, he became the youngest president in American history. The nation, still reeling from the tragedy, looked to its new leader with a mix of uncertainty and hope. Roosevelt, however, embraced the challenge with characteristic zeal, promising to uphold the Constitution and serve the interests of all Americans. His presidency marked a turning point in American history, ushering in an era of progressive reforms and a more assertive role for the United States on the world stage. A presidency forged in tragedy. Roosevelt's presidency was deeply shaped by his personal tragedies. He had lost his first wife and his mother on the same day, a devastating blow that left an indelible mark on his soul. These experiences fueled his empathy for the common man and his belief that government had a moral obligation to uplift the downtrodden and protect the vulnerable. He championed the rights of workers, fought against corporate monopolies, and sought to create a more just and equitable society. His presidency was a testament to the transformative power of leadership driven by compassion and a deep sense of purpose. The Trust Buster Roosevelt earned the moniker Trust Buster for his relentless pursuit of corporate monopolies that stifled competition and exploited consumers. He believed in the power of free markets but recognized the need for government regulation to ensure fairness and prevent abuses of power. His administration filed dozens of antitrust lawsuits, breaking up powerful corporations like Standard Oil and Northern Securities. These actions sent shockwaves through the business world and established the principle that no entity, however large or influential, was above the law. Roosevelt's trust-busting efforts marked a turning point in American economic history, ushering in an era of greater government oversight and a more level playing field for businesses of all sizes. A voice for conservation. A lifelong lover of nature, Roosevelt understood the importance of preserving America's natural heritage for future generations. He established numerous national parks, monuments, and forests, protecting millions of acres of pristine wilderness from development. His conservation legacy is vast and enduring. He created the United States Forest Service, signed the Antiquities Act, and established the first national wildlife refuge at Pelican Island, Florida. Roosevelt's vision of conservation extended beyond simply protecting scenic landscapes. 
He recognized the interconnectedness of natural systems and the need for sustainable resource management to ensure the long-term health of the environment and the economy. The Panama Canal, a legacy project. One of Roosevelt's most ambitious and controversial projects was the construction of the Panama Canal, recognizing the strategic and economic importance of a waterway connecting the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans he threw the full weight of his administration behind the project. The construction itself was an engineering marvel, overcoming immense challenges of disease, difficult terrain, and political complexities. The canal, completed in 1914, transformed global trade and solidified the United States' position as a world power. While the canal stands as a testament to Roosevelt's vision and determination, it also highlights the complexities of his legacy particularly his willingness to use American power to advance national interests, even if it meant intervening in the affairs of other nations. Roosevelt on the world stage. Roosevelt believed in a strong and assertive foreign policy, one that championed American interests and values on the world stage. He famously summarized his approach as speak softly and carry a big stick, a philosophy that emphasized diplomacy backed by military strength. He negotiated an end to the Russo-Japanese War, earning the Nobel Peace Prize in the process. He dispatched the Great White Fleet, a flotilla of American battleships, on a global tour to demonstrate American naval power. Roosevelt's foreign policy was often criticized as interventionist, but it also established the United States as a major player in international affairs, a position it has maintained ever since. The last charge. After leaving office in 1909, Roosevelt remained a powerful voice in American politics. He embarked on a speaking tour, advocating for progressive reforms and challenging the policies of his successor, William Howard Taft. In 1912, he ran for president again as the candidate of the Progressive Party, also known as the Bull Moose Party. Though he lost the election to Woodrow Wilson, his campaign energized the progressive movement and helped shape the national conversation on social justice and economic equality. Roosevelt's health declined in his later years, but his spirit remained unbroken. He died in 1919 at the age of 60, leaving behind a legacy that continues to inspire and challenge generations of Americans. The Legacy of a Lionheart Theodore Roosevelt was a man of boundless energy, unwavering conviction, and a deep love for his country. His life and presidency were marked by a series of contradictions and complexities, but his impact on American history is undeniable. He championed the cause of the common man, challenged the power of corporate monopolies, and sought to preserve America's natural beauty for future generations. He led with courage and conviction, always willing to take on tough challenges and fight for what he believed in. Theodore Roosevelt's legacy is etched in stone on Mount Rushmore, a fitting tribute to a man who embodied the spirit of American ambition, idealism, and the enduring belief in the power of action. He remains an icon a symbol of American strength and resolve, his story a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit. Please like and subscribe to the channel.